Long ago, maybe a hundred years or so, no one knows, except me who is telling you this story. There, li there was a kingdom, blessed with a golden power to grant people's wishes or whatever, something like that. And people lived in peace, and there was forests and butterflies and junk, y you, you could see the thing. And then one day, uh, an evil, evil beast came out of nowhere and tried to take the golden power. And he did, in another timeline. Not this timeline, another timeline. Uh, don't get me started on that, I'm pretty sure it's a different timeline. So he spread destruction and darkness everywhere, and then people prayed that someone, possibly holding the blade of evil Bane, comes out of nowhere and saves them. And that person did. He came out of nowhere. He was wearing green like a Kiri, whatever the hell that is, and then slayed a beast with the blade of evil Bane. And then he disappeared, because that's what good heroes do. They don't know who he is, or where he came from, but they call him the Hero of Time. Probably because he kept appearing at the Temple of Time. Seriously, that that's a dead giveaway. D -d -d dead giveaway. Anyways, uh, years came, years gone by, probably 50, I don't know, the Hero's Tale's been told so many times. Then one day, as if the wind died all of a sudden, the, the evil person came back and tried to take the Triforce. And then the people prayed to the Triforce. I mean, Golden Power. What, what is this Triforce? And try to get the Hero of Time to come back. But he didn't came. You know why? Because he traveled back in time. No one knows what happened to that kingdom. No one really does, except probably one person out there. And the one who's telling you the story. It became customary on an island somewhere far away that tell, retells the story of the uh, Hero of Time. And it became customary to the, to the islanders that boys who have come to an age, probably 13 or so, will wear the hero's clothes and, be ch and pretend to be the hero. This is our, where our story begins. Welcome to Outset Island. There we see a little girl calling for her big brother. You can't see it in motion, but trust me, it's a thing. And then there is the the big brother just sleeping under under the lookout tower thing. Oh God, this guy's our hero, isn't he? Oh no. And after that, a very very awkward. Um, I don't know. With slideshow uh, cutscene thing? I don't know. Hey, anyways, hey there, guys! Luigi Vance 20 here, welcoming you to my very awkward new Let's Play because of Nintendo copyright. It's 100% bull. I'm really feeling it! <gasps> and the Nintendo Creators program is also bullshit. Yeah. Legend of Zelda will win with HD. I would play the original, but I think that would also be affected by copyright bullshit. Yeah, bull. Uh, let's not talk about that because I was just playing the game. Anyways. Let's go see what Grandma wants. I could take a ladder, but I could do this. Oh, I failed. Oh, I failed. This is the face. This is the face of a failed link. All right, let's try this again. This time with more oomph. You, you didn't see that arrow, all right? You didn't see that, all right? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to do this perfectly. Damn it! Fine, I'll do it like that. I don't care about ladders, but oh, that was just terrible. Especially after the last two times I've done it. Fun fact, this is the third time I had to record this episode. The other two were just tests. But it, it, they were still, uh... They were still a thing. Not a thing, but you know what I mean. No, you don't, because I don't even know what I mean. Anyway, what can I say, guy? I just saw a wild... A wild pig! Oh, see? Look! That black one there! Don't you see him? This is perfect! My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Light? No, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to jog up and capture one. If you want to get close to one, you have to hold that to crouch and tell that to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You could also distract it with bait, I guess. What are you, Solid Snake? Teaching me how to crawl, huh? Secretly you are. You are Solid Snake. I'm gonna call you Snake from now on. 
Alright. Where's the pig? I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna be in first person mode to do this. No, wait. There we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I can't see through the grass. This is terrible. Da 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 da. Where is it? Oh. I'm out in the open. Da 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 da. Da da da. Oh. Hi, pig. I'm just gonna grab you. You saw me and I just grab you. Hey, snake. I got your present. You're not even surprised. Have a pig. I, I barely missed you, but just have that pig. J just have it. I don't care. Oi, light! Press that right there and use that to talk to me. Try it. No, but okay. That's correct. You're a smart one. I know how to target people. You, my friend, have just targeted me! You see, when you press that, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Or to assassinate people. Cause that's what it sounds like to me. Of course, even when there isn't anything around the target, you can press that to face forward. You know, it's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, I do say so myself. What are you, the pedo man? Of course, that's not the only trick up my bag, not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just climb that ladder over there and jump by my room. Or... I could do this. Da 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 da, bye. I, I meant to crawl backwards. Yeah, l l you know what, let, let's just go with that. No, don't, don't go forward. Let's just go with that. I could do that. And you could just target me. And I'll walk away. Ignoring everyone, including that guy. I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to crawling. I'm gonna crawl under my house where no one will find me. Because there is something I want to grab before we go anywhere else in our adventure. Mainly because of money. Spoilers, it's money. Like seriously, it's money. Have some rupees. It's an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth a hundred. Your face is totally beaming. Doesn't look beaming. I just look happy. Now let's just let's just go back out. That's the only thing I want to grab. That's the only thing that's in there. Why was there a hundred rupees under my house? Who knows? Maybe that was an emergency fund. And I will spend it all. All on the thing. All right. This is. I meant to backflip, but I, I guess rolling around the rolling around the side of my ramp, whatever. I, don't, I, I give up on trying uh, trying things, trying things, trying to say things. That's the word I'm trying to say. Do you know? Cause I don't. So Link met up with his grandmother, finding out she has a birthday present for him, and it was the hero's clothes. Damn, they look hot for this weather. No, seriously, it's like 90 freaking degrees outside. And of course, Link's look, Link looks disappointed. Look at that, that's the face of disappointment. Look at it. Uh, and also, he has to wear it. He looks so uncomfortable in it, doesn't he? I'll just, I'll just, uh, backflip. That's, that, ow! I just roll into the door. You just saw a close-up on Link's face. Dude, yeah. Oh man, I have to wear this for a day. It's hot out here though, look at it, the sun is glaring down my soul. As if I don't have enough pain in my soul already. Now I have to walk in this very hot clothes. But also free money, cause why not, right? Right. Oh, I barely didn't get that. Jump! Jump into the water and cool myself off. Now I feel slightly better. Alright, let's just go. Did you just bump into me? Just, just gonna walk away slowly. Just, just, just leave me alone, Snop Bubble Boy! No, don't, don't follow me! Don't follow me! Don't follow me! Leave me alone! What have I done to you? This guy's weird! Really weird! Yeah, let's go get our sister. I think she's over here in her lookout. 
Or do you like the only lookout in this, in this, uh... No, Link, don't go down! Go up! I'm literally pressing down on the control stick just so Link can go up. I mean, Light. His name's not Link. Who the hell is Link? This guy's name is Light. I gotta get used to calling him that. Ah, oi, big brother! Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But wow! You look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes, girl. I am dying! I am literally dying in this! I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Light, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? Okay, but if it's seagull poop again, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you off this this lookout tower. I'm gonna give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! And we got the telescope! This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. She will kill you if you destroy it. So just accept it and use it. Set it to that, that, or that and use it by pressing whatever button you can set it. Do it now, see what you can see. You can also use the gamepad, but I'm not using the gamepad because I uh, pro controller. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Ooh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking at our house from here. Alright, we can do that. Just, uh, I'm gonna set it to Y, not because of a joke. Alright, so controlling the telescope is not that bad. You can use the right stick to look around, you can zoom in with the left, and just, uh, be weird with it. Alright, let's just go look at the post house. Post house? Po uh, red post box, that one. That one right there. I am looking at the, I'm looking at the post box arrow. Do I need to zoom out? Yes, I, I know. I, I'm zooming in. Y yes, I can't move the stick. I can't. Okay. Huh? Uh, what? Oh, oh, right. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing a thing. Uh, cutscene, right? Uh, oh, wow. Ah, mm, hold on. I know the echo effect is on, but hold on. It's hard work, you know. So, after looking at the postman creepily with a telescope, watching him doing his job, the postman freaked out and then sees a giant bird flying through the sky. Seriously, that's like random. And he's a bird man, so that's like scary to him. And then pirates! Pirates trying to shoot that bird down, and then they did. It was super effective. And then someone fell into the woods. And that's where we need to go. This is the best I could do in the span of five minutes, alright? Leave me alone. Like, this is so terrible! That girl fell in the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with! Well, I know who to go to! Errol? Errol, I want you to stay here. Don't! I repeat, don't move! Alright? Don't move! And let your big brother handle this. Whoop! Oh my god, it feels so much better to be in the water. Oh, now I'm not dying as much. Okay, new rule. Every little chance I get, I will swim. I don't care that I'm slowly dying. Come here, crab, I need you. Alright, let's go. Well, see, we need something to defend ourselves with. Who do we know that can teach us how to do stuff? Boop. Oh, I did not mean to talk to you! Leave me alone, Petal Man Senior! Ow! I hurt myself! Hey, Orca! How are you? Oh, what's the matter, Light? You have an urgent look about you! Has something happened? Did you not look outside? Did you not hear the cannonballs or the screeching bird? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Light? Ah, oh, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes. Yes, I have. I will go through this tutorial very quickly, by the way, because it's all very simple. Very good. First lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face man, press that. Without targeting or doing anything with that stick. You know what I'm talking about. Breaking the fourth wall. 
Now I'll do a vertical slice! Target me! And press that! Target and smash! Links! I mean light smash! Very good! Next is a thrust! Target! Move! And then move forward and then press that! I will probably be using that a lot. Ow! I am doing that! You're just stuck in the corner! Alright, now it's a spin attack. You can hold the B button to do it, or you can do it very quickly with a control stick. Personally, I like to do it with the control stick, but it's kind of tricky. Oh my god. It also doesn't work how to- it doesn't also doesn't work when it's- when you're against a wall. How do I word? Also the parry! It's the counter. I love this one. Counter! And then jump attack! My also favorite move. Because I get to do that! Die! And your I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be well to feel the battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it light. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. And we got the hero sword! I put it back in the, in the thing, and then I took it back out so I could hold it up and let it swirl above my head. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who was entrusted to you. Who taught you the ways of the badass. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Light. I will, Orca. Thank ya. And now, I'm gonna back away slowly to the door. And then leave. Uh, that's not the door. This is the door. I should use my camera more. Okay. So, now we have a sword. Now stuff is happening. I'm gonna call this an episode. Cause why the hell not? So, if you like what you see here, then slap that like button. Really like what you see here, then slap the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And on the next episode, uh, we're gonna go save that girl who fall in that forest. And I'll see you guys next time. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. I don't know if I can solid snake, snake my way out of this. Let me see. Nope, he spotted me before I could even do anything. Alright, you get to die. Come on, get back up so I can jump attack! So we gotta go deep in the grass. Be like a predator. Look and stare into the eyes of your prey through the tall grass. Alright then, be careful. And off we go!